In this section, I want to show you how you can enable source specific multicast in your network. Now, I'm going to have router 3 as a sender and switch 1 as a receiver. And for this, I need to enable IPI GMP version 3. And if your routers are a little old, you can enable the version 3 light. Uh, Cisco supports on old routers as well. So I'm going to have uh, a little, you know, configuration on these routers to enable SSM. I have removed every other configuration for RPs in previous section, and now I go to router 3 to start my configuration here. So on router 3, the first line of command that I need to have is this. Uh, router 3 is going to be the sender, so I will have IP PIM source specific multicast. And after that, I should tell that if I'm going to use default range that is 232/8, or I'm going to another range, I'm going to have another range in my network. And for the purpose of my example, I'm going to have another range. For example, I add a range of uh, SSM range that I'm just creating. For example, for example, SSM custom range. This is the name of uh, an access list that I'm going to create just uh, I'm going to create right now so I hit enter uh, let's create this this is going to be a very simple access list IP access list standard system custom range and I'm just going to permit one or two addresses just one is enough for example to 54 no, 229, for example, 333. That is the only feed that I'm going to send using source of specific multicast right now. So this is the only thing that I just need to have on router 3. Let's go to switch 2. Switch 2 is going to be the receiver. So on switch 2, I need to have IP PIM SSM enabled again. And for range, again, I'm going to create this range, SSM custom range. Person PIM SSM range, SSM custom range. And let's copy this from router 3. IP access list standard. IP access list standard uh, SSM custom range and this only has one line of command that's it permit 229.333 now switch to VLAN for example 16 is going to be the receiver of this feed so I go to interface VLAN 16 I need to make sure that this is sparse mode or sparse dense mode and IPPIM sparse mode is the command that I need here. I need to make sure that this is IP IGMP version 3 and now that I have enabled IP IGMP version 3 I can join this source IP IGMP join group I am going to join to 229.333 and now the beauty is this I can specify the source and tell that I am just receiving this from 110.133 and no other sources so I hit enter that's it the configuration is complete now I can go and start sending the multicast from router 3 if I try to have a ping to 229.333 by hit enter you can see that this is receiving the reply because it can send it from its loopback zero interface. Now if I go to for example backbone one and try to send the multicast feed to 29 333 you can see that the broadcast feeding is disallowed here and I need to go to this mode you can see that the ping is not working even if I enable 
IP PIM SSM range, for example, SSM and have IP access list standard SSM here that is permitting 229.333. Now that I have this enabled here, I am going to try the ping again. You can see that the ping is not successful because Switch2 is not interested in receiving the multicast feed from any other source. So this is the multicast SSM configuration and that's very easy to configure on this. And of course there are some other commands that you can work with. They are not as important as these ones.